All right. Hey guys, welcome to part two of my inventory uh, program that I've written in Java. So in the last program, we went over buying an item in the store, and in this pro in this part of the video, we're gonna go talk about selling an item, using an item, observing an item, and observing the room. So the first thing, if we want to sell an item. We'll press 2 on the menu. And now we can choose from our inventory items that we would like to sell. So let's sell one of our mangoes. Press 3 for the mango. It'll show us its attributes one more time. Would we like to sell it for 3 mana and 4 gold? Even though we didn't buy it for, buy it for 3 mana. We bought it for 4.5 mana. And then we bought it for uh, 5 gold. You can only sell it for about 75% of the value, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, yes, we want to sell it. We have three, but we, we just want to sell one. And then we, we, so yeah, now we only have two in our inventory. So that's selling an item. If we want to use an item, we'll type use an item. Say we want to use the... Uh, classy walking stick it'll show its its uh, attributes again yes we want to use it and up here it says there's nothing that we can do with this item right now but normally if you had like a weapon or something which I don't want to demonstrate it yet <laughs> then you would be able to use it to attack someone else so that's uh, using it if we want to observe an item we'll press 4 Let's observe the iron sword. And then that just shows us its ad attributes. Nothing else. It that's all it does. Alright, so that's uh, observing the item. Let's actually go back and sell the classy, classy walking stick. Because <laughs> we don't really need it. Yes, we want to sell it. Notice again, it's not as much as we paid for because it's 75% of the value. So yes, we want to sell it. All right, so now that's sold. Now let's go observe the room by pressing five. And in this room, it's Jukin, the land of Jukin, the town, I guess, whatever it is. Anyway, there's a demon, a skeleton, a werewolf, an old chest, a magic sack, and an old cart in here with us. So the first, let's go look at the magic sack, which is five. And in, in the magic sack, there's holy bread and a magic banana in here. So we'll press yes that we want to take the items. So now uh, in our inventory, we can see that the magic banana and the holy bread has been added to our inventory. Now we're going to go use an item now. Let's go use that magic banana. So we'll type three. And notice that the magic banana is a max item, so it does edit the maxes of our uh, of our stats. So uh, if we, yes, we want to use the item. Notice now our stats are all upgraded. All right, so let's go back and observe the room. Let's get an old. Let's get the old chest, and inside the old chest we have an old bottle, an electro taser, and a science book. Yes, we want to take the items in the old chest. And once again, our inventory has increased after taking those items. We'll go back. Just as an example, for the old cart, if we were to say that we did not want the items, and we go back and observe the room, the old cart is still there. It does not matter. All right. So, yes, we want to take those items. Now... We are all equipped with our armor, we have a sword, and we have two swords, actually. Let's go back and observe the room, because we're ready to attack something. Let's observe the demon. And we can see that the demon has all these attributes, 24 health he has, all these other things. And his attack health, health is 13, attack is 14, will gain uh, 14 radiation. And then we'll also lose uh, 12 fullness. Anyway, 
So let's go use an item. Let's go, let's test out our electro taser that we got from that um, chest, I think, whatever it was. Anyway, let's test it out. We can see all its attributes. We can see its attack. We can see how much it weighs. This one's an interesting item because it only has three uses, so we better use it wisely. Let's use it. We want to use it on the demon. So we'll type one. And up here we can kind of see like a play-by-play -play of what's happening. Demon loses 15 from our electro taser, plus zero from our armor because our armor is not enchanted. So demon loses 15 health. Demon loses, uh, same thing for these guys. Demon loses 10 stamina and gains, or, yeah. I think that's supposed to be gains. I think that's a bug. Anyway, gains 10 radiation. All right. And then as uh, demon attacks us, we lose 13, which is the demon's attack. Then we have our armor, which takes off 10%. Notice that? See that? 10% which takes off 10%, so we only lose 11.7 health, uh, lose 12.6 stamina, lose 10.8 fullness, and gain 12.6 radiation. So now we can look back at our stats. We can see all our, our uh, percentages over here and all that good stuff. we we'll go back and I'll observe the demon. And observe the demon, we can actually see that his health is now down to 9. So that's pretty boss. If we go back and use an item, we can use our uh, iron sword. Once again, we can see all its attributes. We can see its, like, our health gain, all that stuff. We can see that we actually lose fullness when we use this. And we, we can see the enemy and all that stuff. Uses, because it has durability. Anyway, let's, yes, we want to use it. Let's use it on the skeleton. And the skeleton's actually pretty strong. Skeleton loses 7.5 plus 0 enchanted armor, so it loses 7.5 health, loses 5 stamina, and then, now it's the skeleton turn, we lose 34 minus the 10% from the armor, we lose 30.6 health, 31.5 stamina, 12.6 sta uh, fullness, and then we gain 12.6 radiation. We also... Um, gain fullness, or actually, yeah, we lose, we gain negative 5 fullness from the iron sword, because the iron sword is heavy. Let's actually go back up to the stats, yeah, see that? We actually lose uh, fullness from the iron sword, because it's so heavy. So we lost fullness, and then we also lost health from our radiation, because right, we have 25% radiation, so we're actually not doing too well in radiation. So we lost 22.77 uh, health. We lost 8.82 fullness from stamina loss. And then we also lost 3.54 health from hunger, because our fullness is getting low. Anyway. All right. <laughs> So let's go back and observe the skeleton now, because the skeleton hasn't died yet, unfortunately. So we'll type 2 for the skeleton, and the skeleton has 5 health. Alright, let's use the armor, the iron sword one more time on it. Um, iron sword for 3. Iron sword attacks 7.5, so we'll be able to kill the skeleton in this next one. And here is our play-by-play -play again. Skeleton loses 7.5. Uh, 5 stamina. We lose all this stuff. We, lo we lose uh, fullness from the iron sword because it's heavy. And then we also lose uh, 4.16 health from the radiation sickness. We lose 15.12 fullness because we're down on stamina, really low on stamina. And then we lose 7.14 health from hunger because... <laughs> We're uh, getting low on fullness, too. And then, but after all that, Skeleton has now fallen. And from that attack, or battle, I guess you could say, we gained 939 mana and 1,262 gold. So I think it was kind of worth it. So we're really low on stats. So let's go back and use an item. 
let's use our holy bread which we also got from that magic sack and this is basically going to fill our stats all the way up let's use it yeah nice all right so let's go back and use our electro taser one more t again notice it only has two uses left because we already use it once so we'll uh, use it again let's use it on the werewolf this time and I believe the werewolf had 14 health so werewolf loses 15 health loses 10 stamina gains 10 radiation and then we lose a bunch of stuff we gain more radiation but werewolf has fallen and we found 126 mana and we found 445 gold nice so let's go back and use our electro taser one more time on the uh, um, a demon. Let's use it on the demon. Da -da -da -da. We lose another from radiation sickness. And remember how many, since this is the third time using the electro taser, it of course has broken and now it is removed from our inventory. And the demon has fallen and we got our mana and our gold. So, thank you for watching. This has been my even inventory program in Java maybe if I get around to it I'll make a better version in the future and I'll make a video of that but right now this is like my version 1.0 of the inventory so yeah thanks for watching guys see you next time